follow the sound please and let your body to settle down itself नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् So your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. So in the beginning, bring your attention to your body and scan head to toes yourself. And say, so Patveva, oh, may I be well and happy. Just wish yourself three times. May I be well and happy. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gather here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment, with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me, may all the success come to me. Also think for a moment, this is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing your sensation, bodily sensation and inhalation, exhalation. So in the beginning, mentally we're going to relax our body. So step by step. So remember each and every inhalation, exhalation. Take it deeply, gently and slowly. So when you inhale, inhale through nose. When you exhale, exhale through mouth. In between inhalation, exhalation, keep a little gap. So bring your attention to your right arm. And focus your mind to your right arm. And deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your right arm. And hold your breath and slowly, deeply, gently breathe out through mouth. Take all the breath out from your right arm. Take it out from your right arm. Bring your attention to your left arm. Deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your left arm. Hold it and deeply, slowly, gently breathe out. Your back and spine, deeply, gently, slowly breathing. Hold your breath and breathe out. Slowly, deeply, gently breathe out through your mouth. 
your abdominal area. Breathing slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your abdominal area. Hold it. And breathe out slowly, deeply, gently breathe out. Your chest breathing. Hold it. And breathe out. Your right leg breathing. Hold it and release. Left leg breathing. Deeply, gently, slowly breathing. Hold it. And release. Slowly, deeply, and gently release. Neck and head. Breathing. Hold it. And breathe out. Okay, now your whole body. Okay, breathing to your whole body. Head to toes. Hold it. And breathe out. Breathing, slowly, deeply, gently breathing. Hold it. Breathe out. Again, one more time, deeply, gently breathing. And breathe out. Okay, one more time. Take deep breathing to your lower belly area and hold it as long as you can. And slowly breathe out. Bring your attention in front of your nose and your body area. Let your whole body to settle down. Let your body to be itself and separate your mind from your body. Slowly, deeply breathing, breathe out three times. Find the sensation of inhalation, exhalation. Bring your fully attention to 
sensation and slowly recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation, followed by the sensation. Don't try to inhale or exhale yourself, just allow it to happen. So when it happened through the sensation, you recognize. In the beginning, separately recognize this is inhalation, this is exhalation. This is rising, this is falling. Bring a little bit more attention, observe the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation. No, when this is inhalation, this is exhalation, this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Stay with the inhalation, exhalation. Observe the very nature of the inhalation, exhalation. Some inhalation become long, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. So learn to accept rising and falling as it is. Don't try to change anything, just learn to accept everything as it is. If your thoughts disturb you, don't react to any thoughts. Always follow the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation. See how calm your body, how calm your mind. Try to get the best out of this moment. So whatever the thoughts come, if it is unnecessary, don't react. So it is better you give fully attention to inhalation, exhalation. 
because that is your life not whatever in the past or the future what you experience in this very moment is your life so stay focused to that Let your body, mind and breathing to settle down as one. Once it come to that level, there is nothing called inhalation or exhalation. There is nothing coming in or going out. It's like you see the ocean. Even though you see the waves rising, it's all the same water. The same like even you feel the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. In the depth there is no separation. The moment you experience in this very moment arising, disappearing like a water bubble. So reflect on that impermanent. Whatever the sensation you recognize, it's not going to be there. Moment by moment, everything change. And whatever the sensation you recognize with your inhalation, exhalation, there is no relationship to you. There is no self-centered connection. That sensation rises according to necessary conditions in that very moment. And the conditions disappear, it disappears. This entire universe the same. When you don't recognize this, you hold it to self or me or my. That is where the suffering, unsatisfactory nature arises.
bring your attention to your body. Experience this moment yourself. Appreciate yourself. You are so lucky to have this moment. This is very rare. You are so blessed. Pay your gratitude to your life. As paying your gratitude, share your heart with other people around this world. There are a lot of people in this moment, missing this moment, fighting with death, struggling with life. Feel the fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness, struggling with this disease or the illness. They have no moment to sit like this and experience the, the life But uh, yourself, you have this opportunity. So as paying your gratitude, wish upon them. May they come out of that fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness. May they come out of that struggle and find the peace, harmony within themselves and go through the situation and find the, the liberation within themselves. Not only them share your heart with your dear near ones, your loved ones, your beloved parents, husband, wife, children, friends and family members, brothers, sisters, neighbors, village people, city, state, country, all living beings in this world and the universe. Not only that, as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, Big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Step by step, visualize yourself and send it as a light forward. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. downward and upward
to all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, in every day, we like to, to hear something new and we have a desire to learn something new so every day people keep collecting collecting the wisdom through many many different ways more than any other time we have a lot of opportunity we have a lot of resources to act to access to the knowledge and the wisdom but at the same time we have to remember that when we practice meditation the whatever the wisdom that we collect as a knowledge, so whatever the, the understanding we accumulate, the very th nature of the true wisdom, it should come out of your bodily, verbally or mentally action. But sometimes, even though we learn a lot of things, it is very difficult to, to get out of the action, the very reason for that, the mostly when our mind get disturbed, worry, unhappy, sad. So this kind of things can push down your wisdom or the understanding and it can deactivate what you know. So then you have to be very careful in day-to-day -day life. So whatever the condition in your mind can illuminate, can shut down, disconnect the wisdom, if you not keep focus. Why? Because each and every thought has the same power. Remember that. There is no thought going to become powerless and there is no another thought going to become powerful. Only thing is how much you keep focusing to that, how much you aware about it, how much you keep repeating, how much you trying to apply that thought, how much you trying to bring that thought again and again and again and that thought become powerful. So in day-to-day -day life, sometimes we know things. And once we know that, we think it's going to become okay. No. Even though we know things, there is a different skill that you have to develop to apply it to life. Knowingly, something is different. But in the surface level, as an ordinary person, you have to develop a skill that what you know to apply it to in day-to-day -day life. Because that application part, if you don't develop, 
and sometimes naturally what is happening in day-to-day -day life we we have a method we have a pattern to apply our greed hatred or the delusion anger envy that kind of that the worry unhappy sad so this kind of things we used to to apply in day-to-day -day life and naturally these things come actually it is not come naturally so what is happened in the past we used to do that as a result of that today it come without any effort otherwise that any thought has no in a different consciousness to think oh i have to do this way oh i have to come like that way no so the thing is then you have to be very careful what you keep repeating can give a power to good or bad and just knowingly itself in the surface level in the beginning doesn't work so then the applying part is the important so then look yourself how much things you know and how much things you apply and according to that you can understand so the how things can change in your life so little by little little by little try to that to increase this application part the applying part with your bodily verbally or mentally action every day in every way so that is a way that you slowly bring your wisdom to to activate because when the when our anger hatred jealousy so the lust the greediness this kind of things when it come to our life and because of this the, the most of time whatever this environment has the same kind of that nature so whatever that this kind of nature get influence and in even though we don't see for a day most of time we live with that things and because of that it become powerful so if you have the the different environment and the different kind of lifestyle to keep the the empower that all that the good things or the the the, the generosity line loving kindness compassion and the wisdom so this kind of things if you expand the capacity to live with it and naturally you will see it going to come back so then in day-to-day -day life so sometimes that in the deeply we involving with few moments with the few things and that moment maybe hold you for a long time period in a deeper level in in your subconscious mind as a mental formation it told you maybe you do it for a few seconds and it create energy inside you go with you for another two three hours so then in that two three hours maybe you are so neutral you are so calm and you think you you never done anything wrong but one moment that the the whatever you did with the anger hatred or the jealousy can hold you to that three four hours and during that the whatever you do slowly it it empower that other actions so the good things also the same so when you perform something good and when you may it when it make you happy complete that completion can take you to to many many hours so that way the during whatever the thing during that time whatever you do it has power to to get influence enrich that all the actions and with that the the whatever you have done the with the good things so as example it like this you drink a cup of tea or coffee it doesn't mean you drink 24 7 you keep you know drinking 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 no maybe early in the morning 
you drink a cup of coffee or tea, but it has power to keep you awake five hours, four hours, and it gives energy for few hours. During that time, you don't drink a tea, but that whatever the drink you, the, the tea you drink, so the, keep giving the power, holding you to that. So the same way with the thoughts. So one single thought, if you don't see sometimes, maybe you get disappointed. That disappointed can take you whole day. Maybe early in the morning, you wake up with a very happy, satisfied mind. One thought. That thought has power to make the whole day beautiful. So the thing is this, when you become mindful, when you develop the clear comprehension that the sati sampajanya or the recognizing the moment, recognizing the very nature of the, the thought, and the right away you have power to, to, to understand it, and you have power to, if it is not necessary, and to change it to whatever you want. So then recognizing this thought is important and at the same time this applying part this to get bring it up and as action you have to have the effort that is where most of time we become so lazy that is where we not going to be focused sometimes we know things we heard things but just knowingly doesn't mean it's going to work for you so then what you know always Try to bring as an action. Use it in day-to-day -day life. For that, you need the effort. So start with the little steps. Little by little, little by little. And then slowly you will see it become more powerful. It become a profitable action. And whatever you recognize as good, naturally, very next moment, you start to apply it to your life. So don't keep a waiting part. So don't try to, what you know, don't wait to, to apply it to some other time. No, right away, what you know, start to apply with your bodily, verbally, or mentally action. Why? Because that if your knowledge not activate, if your knowledge not bring as the action with your bodily, verbally, or mentally action, what will happen? It is start to disappear, which we call forget. And once you know whatever you know, once you forget, you equal to not knowing. So the same thing, what you know, if you don't apply, you are equal to not knowing. So then remember that work with this, the knowing part and the result in between this, there is an action you have to develop. So start to get into that. That is where you need the strength, the power the willpower, that is where you need the desire, that is where you need to wake up. So that is where you need to be mindful. And once you have that point in between this, and you will see there are a lot of things you can change. So for this, to clarify this method, I will tell you a story. There was a wise man. He used to be the king's advisor. So what happened when the, the king gave the kingdom to his son, this king retired. And when he retired, he, his advice also went away. The, 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 this young king had the different advisor. So this, the retired advisor and went, to his, went back to his village and he started ordinary lifestyle. So, little by little, what happened? He became poor. And he became poor. Then there was nothing to eat one day. He thought to go to the king's palace and steal something. So that, and when people become poor, that is naturally happened. And 
somehow because he knew that the plan and everything how the behavior of the palace and somehow he, he able to get into the the palace in the evening and he went to the king's room and hide under the bed and start to look that wherever the the treasury all the gold and the gems and everything and while king sleeping he came out and start to take certain gold and the gems and all the valuable things when he touch right away his wisdom start to arise and what stealing especially stealing valuable things is a great create a great sin so he right away drop it and he understood whatever that so far he came to with this uh, stealing desire is not right it is not good to do something because he was a wise man he he was the advisor for the king he knew what is right or what is wrong so because of the poverty the he didn't apply his uh, wisdom and his disappeared slowly and somehow this time the wisdom came and he dropped that all the 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 valuable things at the same place and hide under the uh, king's bed and uh, waiting till morning to escape so that the very next day early in the morning king wake up and the, all the drums and singing early in the morning singing and everybody start to cheer and uh, to wake up the king with the good signs and the king wake up and he felt so good early in the morning singing dancing nice smell aroma and all the good things happen when he wake up and what he start to tell he start to sing himself and oh i have this all the treasures oh everything beautiful nice smell so good i am the king everything perfect so like that he start to sing and while he singing one moment he stuck he couldn't say anything he couldn't find the word to explain himself so that that wise man the old man was hiding inside the bed under the bed and what happened he was thinking about the life and this all his wisdom start to arise he forget where he is and he forget to hold his wisdom and he start to tell from under the bed what's the point that you have that everything when you die you're not going to take anything the king start to hear that from his room and he thought it is who told that it's a very wise word and king suddenly thought there is an angel somewhere uh, that uh, the sky and he but he knew it came under the from under the bed and he start to look around and then he found so this old advisor and he recognized him because he learned from this person this advisor when he was a child and asked what are you doing here so then he apologized from the king and told oh king i am so poor i was so poor then i was thinking to take something from your treasury and then i understood why this is something wrong that's why i i drop it everything there and then i was waiting to escape and then i heard this you telling this and uh, but the finally the truth is even though you have this everything when you die you're not going to take anything so the king by hearing this because he was his uh, old teacher and by hearing this king got the wisdom and king never thought about it and king thought this everything and he enjoy the life 
and then king thought oh you opened my mind even though you came to steal something you opened my mind and that is more worth than this or oh, everything so i going to appointed you as my advisor so from that day this old person became again the king advisor so dear friends when you look at the story see when you become poor when you don't apply the knowledge and sometimes you become poor look at the world every day there are new things come from where it come it come from human mind it never going to fall down from the sky it never going to come from another planet it never going to come from aliens so it always come from human mind you are so creative there is a creativity inside your mind if you don't use it of course you going to become poor so the poverty is poor is sometimes it's a passion for some some people they are they are stuck with that poverty and there are some people like to become poor there are some people like to depending from others or even the the physically or mentally spiritually like that so there are some people like to become followers they never want to find the salvation they always following 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 some there are some people addicted to become beggars the beggary is make them so happy but remember as a human being you are so creative so use that your creativity so don't blame to anybody so it is your own power try to use your wisdom the our human mind is so capable look at even during this this time period this during this uh, this virus time period how many people forget we are human how many people forget that the the true nature what we carry within ourselves in this human civilizations we came through more than the difficult time more than this but when it come to in front of us if you forget you are a human being if you forget the power of you if you forget your creativity if you forget your the power of your immunity even you even you live for 100 years you dead so don't live like a dead person so give a life to yourself be creative yourself don't always be depend don't don't enrich the the beggary inside you so why because if you don't use your wisdom whatever you have it going to lead us to something else maybe stealing telling lies and doing some other wrong things so but if you able to start to use whatever the wisdom you have maybe it's a little tiny thing maybe it's like a little fire once it start to lit it has power to 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 shine 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 like the sun so then remember yourself whatever the wisdom that inside you little bit one thought start to bring it to your life make it to action and that way you will see how powerful it become little by little when you use it again and again and again and again it to start to become more powerful so that's how things start in this world that everything come out of the human mind maybe it is with the one thought just the one imagination just the one thought, uh, that the uh, intention so but once you start to develop it again and again it lay another thing is once see that the person understood that stealing it's not good and once you get into your wisdom and you going to receive your place so same like see that he became wise 
and he thought no i not it is not good to steal and he left that everything there and then when the king wake up and he he told to the king that this everything going to 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 go away when once you die you cannot take this anything that wisdom when you share it with others and you get the the right place whatever you deserve and not only that all other facilities going to come to you so the thing is we hold it to our ignorance we hold it to our greediness anger and we keep that every, everything inside that and we looking for happiness you will never get it but if you share your wisdom if you share whatever the things that uh, that you you develop inside you as a good thought and you will see all the beautiful things start to come towards you that is the beauty of the dharma so then my dear friends and remember and whatever you know as a human being and start to apply so this human life is more powerful than you think and your mind has capability to to give service to this entire world and you have power to give healings the give to good thoughts make happy other people and take out other people's pain and you are so capable to do a lot of things so focus for that and try to start with the little little steps and share your wisdom with others and try to bring it up and that way you will see and whatever you deserve it going to come to you other than that without doing that don't keep looking and you know never going to get it even you get it it never going to be with you that is the law of nature so with that i wish upon everyone by the power of this good patris may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life may everyone stay healthy and safe during this time period and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana सब्बीतुवजंतु सब्बरो गोविनसतु माते भवत्वंतरायो सुखी दीगायुको भव यत्तावताच अम्मि संबदं पुण्य संबदं सब्बे देवानुमोदन्तु संब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सब्बे भूता अनुमोदन्तु संब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सब्बे सत्ता अनुमोदन्तु संब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदं मे पुण्यकम आसवक्कयावहंहोतु सब दुःखापमुंचतु ब्लेस यू सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीवन Have a nice day. Take care of yourself.